This week in Hyrule, Nintendo is throwing some new E3 news at us, and I might finally have a reason to buy some new shoes. Your news recap starts now. Welcome once again, folks, to This Week in Hyrule, being brought to you from a shiny new location. Now, to kick things off, let's dive into all this E3 craziness. Recently, Nintendo gave us some insight into what exactly they have planned at this year's E3. Here's the basic rundown. Their show starts at 9 a.m. Pacific Time on Tuesday, June 14th. Nintendo plans to stream The Legend of Zelda gameplay, and you'll be able to view the stream on Nintendo's YouTube and Twitch accounts, as well as on e3.nintendo.com. Scott Moffat of Nintendo of America said, At E3 this year, we're treating people to an immersive Zelda experience. And series producer Eji Aonuma has said that this is going to be a departure from some of the conventions of previous titles. The game will have less boundaries than other titles, and will be introducing new gameplay. And if that wasn't enough, Nintendo's E3 press site might have given us some small hints into what the story of the new Zelda game is going to be focused on. When you visit e3.nintendo.com, you'll be greeted by a lone blue Sheikah symbol against a black background. This image then fades to show Link and Epona standing in a big open world. Now, could this mean that the Sheikah are going to play a large role in the story? Possibly, but right now it's all speculation. Okay, whew, that was a lot of info, and honestly, I'm really excited to see how much gameplay we're actually going to get to see at E3. But for now, let's talk about shoes. Nintendo is teaming up with shoe company Vans to bring us some super awesome, super nerdy shoes. This line of shoes is based on the NES, and many of its games, including Legend of Zelda, Donkey Kong, Mario, and more. No official release date or price, however the European sneaker store 43ienhalb has them listed for a release sometime in June. To any German viewers out there, please forgive my butchering of your language. Now, let's get to the last news story of the day. After over 30 years of Zelda games, the original Legend of Zelda is being inducted into the World Video Game Hall of Fame along with five other games. The strong National Museum of Play recognized the game for its popularization of non-linear exploration and for being the first console game to include an internal save battery. Alright, that's it for news, so let's check out those contests. For this week's caption contest, we had you guys speculating as to why poor Purple Link was left out from Triforce Heroes. Gotta say, my favorite absolutely goes to Kuhn Mong. I can hear the angry comments from here. For the caption contest, we wanted a piece featuring the ladies of Zelda. I definitely have to give this to Link584. I love this movie and this crossover would actually be pretty hilarious. But uh, let's not have Lindsay Lohan play Ilya. Alright, that about does it for me. If you want any more information on the stories discussed in this video, you can check out the links in the description. Keep it locked to Zelda Informer for all your Zelda news. I'm Matt, and this was your week in Hyrule.